There has been a lot of conversations around the application of sodium ion batteries for electric vehicles. However, none of the companies producing sodium ion batteries have demonstrated the application in EVs until now. Chinese power battery maker Haina has unveiled a sodium ion battery powered test electric vehicle which has a range of 252 km on a single charge and costs only $6,810. The test vehicle has a battery pack with a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours, supports fast charging of 3C to 4C, and uses cells with an energy density of 140 watt hours per kilogram. Hello friends, and welcome to The Electrochemist. Thank you for tuning into the channel. On this channel, we discuss all things battery development, including existing lithium-ion batteries, new and emerging battery systems, battery supply chain, battery production, and battery application. If this is something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel, smash the like button and keep watching. With supply chain issues around critical materials such as lithium, nickel and cobalt, plus the high lithium prices have spurred a shift towards cheaper and available battery chemistries. Although most EV makers are now embracing the idea of an electric vehicle powered by lithium ion phosphate batteries or LFPs, which are cheaper than NMC and NCA cells. There is still value in producing EVs powered by sodium ion batteries. Sodium based batteries offer a safer chemistry because they can be discharged to zero volts, which make them safer for transport. Sodium is abundant and cheaper than lithium, and they can operate at extreme temperatures. The Chinese power battery maker has begun putting sodium ion batteries in passenger cars, potentially marking the beginning of a big change in the battery industry and the market for affordable passenger electric vehicles. The battery maker, Haina Battery, also unveiled three sodium ion battery cell products and announced a partnership with Anhui Jianhui Automobile Co Group Corporation, or JAC, which has made one of its models the first to carry sodium ion batteries. Who is Haina? Haina Battery was founded in 2017 and released its first sodium ion battery in the same year. On December 18, 2021, China Battery entered a partnership with two subsidiaries of China 3 Gold Corporation CTG and the Fuyang Municipal Government in Anhui to jointly build the world's first large-scale mass production line for sodium ion batteries. On December 1, 2022, China Battery announced that the world's first gigawatt-hour class sodium ion battery production line saw its first product rollout. Now that we know about the company, let's go back to the sodium ion battery powered electric vehicle. Haina Battery and CO, a joint venture brand between JAC and Volkswagen, Anhui, have jointly built a test vehicle with sodium ion batteries based on the latest CO E10X module. The test vehicle has a battery pack with a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours and an energy density of 120 watt hours per kilogram. The model has a range of 252 km and supports fast charging of 3C to 4C. The battery pack uses cells with an energy density of 140 Watt hours per kilogram. The range was tested according to the new European Driving Cycle NEDC. The maximum speed is 102 km per hour, but the vehicle weight is just 1000 kg, while the Tesla Model 3 is above 1,600 kg and Land Rover struggles to stay below 3,500 kg. 252 km now may sound like a lot, may not sound like a lot, but it is enough for just 90% of most daily trips in inner cities needing a small car, so it's still okay. For comparison, the regular version of the CO E10X powered by lithium ion batteries have two battery pack capacities of 19.7 kilowatt hours and 31.4 kilowatt hours with a range of 200 kilometers and 302 kilometers respectively the higher capacity pack has an energy density of 144 141 watt hours per kilogram the soho e10x is currently available in seven versions with a guide price range of six thousand eight hundred and ten dollars a post on sales official WeChat account today quoted an executive from the company as saying, We judge that the application of sodium ion batteries in the new energy vehicle market will start with the AOO class EVs, which is why we chose a module like the COO10 E10X for our 
installation trials, the sodium ion battery technology and performance could be used in mid to large size EVs as it matures further. This partnership with Heiner Battery is a significant exploration and Soho will continue to monitor the application of sodium ion batteries in the future and launch related product at the right time, the executive said. So guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to show support. I'm very, very grateful to everyone who has subscribed to this channel uh, or liked our videos. I really appreciate you. Now, these updates by Heiner are really encouraging when you consider the significance of developing a battery chemistry that works in an electric vehicle. However, this is certainly not the first nor the biggest company in the sodium ion battery space because on July 29, 2021, CATL unveiled its first generation sodium ion battery, claiming that the single unit energy density had reached 160 watt hours per kilogram, which is highest so far for a sodium ion battery. UK company Faradion, recently acquired by India's Reliance New Energy, also claimed to have developed a 160 watt hour per kilogram rated sodium ion battery cell with over 4,000 cycles in prototype power cells, whilst the corresponding 32 amp hour cells are currently cycling and forecast to deliver between 2,300 to 3,000 cycles at a 78% depth of discharge. Other players, such as France's Tiamat, Natural Energy in the US, and a host of others have also reported developing sodium ion batteries. In the November 30th report last year, local auto media outlet Yishe cited a conference call that said BYG Seagull will likely be the first to carry sodium ion batteries, with the model's launch expected in the second quarter of 2023. The BYD Seagull will be offered in both sodium ion batteries and lithium ion battery versions with the former expected to be priced as low as US$9,000 and the later expected to be priced at US$12,000, Yishe's report said. Well, it seems Heiner has beat all these big battery makers to the race with its first sodium ion powered test vehicle. In addition to the sodium ion battery equipped vehicle, Heiner Battery today officially launched three sodium ion battery cells. These three types of cells are cylindrical, square, and uh, pouch cells with energy densities of 140 watt hours, 145, and 155 watt hours, respectively. The cells use a copper based layered oxide as the cathode and a coal based amorphous carbon as the anode. According to Lee Shijong, general manager of the Haina battery, the company's sodium ion batteries are geared to mainstream market demand and have the advantage of long life, wide temperature range, and high power and are ready for mass production. The company is advancing cooperation with several leading companies and these sodium ion battery products will be widely used in two-wheelers, passenger cars, commercial vehicles, home and commercial and industrial energy storage and large-scale energy storage applications, said Mr. Surgeon. Overall, the energy density of first-generation sodium ion battery is slightly lower than that of the current lithium ion phosphate batteries, but it has clear advantages in low temperature performance and fast charging, especially in high power application scenarios in amp power regions or cold regions. While I've always believed um, that sodium ion batteries are cost sensitive and will mainly be used in energy storage, and you can see a video on sodium aluminum batteries that we did recently. Um, but companies like Heiner are basically trying to show me that, you know, sodium ion batteries could potentially perform fairly okay in some regular entry level electric vehicles. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this sodium powered test EV and Heiner battery company. Do you think this could be the beginning of sodium ion batteries in electric vehicles or do we still have a long way to go? Drop a comment in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by smashing the like button sharing this video and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.